Hi, my name is Ken Hare, member of Parliament Calgary Centre. I'm here with Bob DeMulder of the Nature Conservancy of Canada. One of my first videos ever was with Bob, so we're here. Give us an update on what's been happening with your organization. Well, Ken, I'm, it's great. I'm glad you remembered coming out. It was a, it was a little bit of a slower day that day, but uh, over the past year since you were here, we've been active on a number of fronts, both in the securing new lands, uh, in the Alberta region, as well as across the country and other areas, as well as ongoing stewardship of those existing lands that we have conserved. Uh, we have a full-time uh, crew of about 18 staff that do nothing but stewarding the lands that we already have. Now, Canada has set a target of 17% of our air area will be conserved. Correct. Can you tell us where the Government of Canada is on that and how you are assisting and how the announcement today ties into that goal? Sure. Well, the, the, the biggest development we've had in that regard here in Alberta was back in uh, May, working with the Alberta government and the federal government's Natural Area Conservation Program and the Tall Cree First Nation. We ended up buying and uh, securing a timber right that the Tall Cree no longer wanted and buying that right, extinguishing it, turning it into the Birch River Conservation Park or National Park, which was 330,000 hectares. That process also triggered the provincial government to move ahead with two other parks that they had waiting in the wings, uh, the, um, gosh, I forgot, Richardson and the Kazan. And altogether, we announced a roughly uh, protected area of about 67,000 square kilometers. That's the largest boreal protected area in the world. In the world. And that was all done just in the last year, since we were here. Since so, we were here. So that was the first, and that was a major advancement. That probably added about 1.5% uh, to the Alberta's percentages. And uh, of course, a little bit smaller when you put it across the country in Canada. So, Canada so, so we're making some progress. Making I gave progress. you a 7 to the but My understanding, we're at 12%. We got to get to 17%. Yep. And we did that today. We moved forward on some projects around Calgary that are also going to take into effect. Correct. So the other piece that we're working on is the private land piece. Private land conservation allows us to do conservation of um, habitats that aren't as easily done on crown lands. So we have national parks, we have provincial parks, but when it comes to things like uh, grassland species or, or east slope species or watershed management, it's more difficult for that to be done on crown land because it doesn't exist there, it's private land. Okay. So this process that we just announced today here, White Moose Ranch and the OH Ranch connecting up, we have about 15 to 16,000 acres of land that's now conserved and will be available for wildlife and watershed management. And all that will eventually contribute towards the goals of 17% Alberta. Well, we'll get to Canada. Too. Thank you very much. Get out and take a look at the Nature Conservancy of Canada. Where can people get more information? Well, you can look at our website at www.natureconservancyofcanada.com and uh, we hope to, or you can get a hold of us in the Alberta office. Hey, that's perfect. Take care, everyone. Thank you.